Hi, welcome to Art Design with Canva and today I will answer a question from John Roger Nadoza and he saw this design and asked if it can be made in Canva. So I will go to Canva and then I will choose Instagram post portrait size. Now let's create the text. I will go to apps, type here text, enter and then choose text maker. I will choose long. I will change to S and then I will change the font here and I will type Bruno, enter. I will choose Bruno Ace, as C and then scroll down, click this 3D and I will change the angle, click this one and I will slide it to the left. Okay, close it and I will adjust the 3d depth one i'll reduce it press it okay i think it's i think it's enough i'll add more a little okay i will back to angle i will increase the tick of the shadow the thickness i mean okay and then close it and then let's change the color of this shadow. I will go to this gradient and click the top one. I will change it to this blue. All right, and, and then and then click the second. I will slide it here and I will click here. All right, and then I will change the text color. Just uh, scroll up and back. Scroll down and customize color. Click this fill color. So it is a gradient of many color. I will remove the gray. So the text color is white now. And then let's add to the page, add to design and add to design. I will increase the size like this and then i will add a square i will change it to this yellow and then i will increase the size and then send it to back now let's download it click share and click download as png and then download all right now add a new page I will change the background to other color and then upload the PNG of page one here. Now go to BG Remover. Okay. Now we have the frame. Now let's fill the ocean. I will use this element underwater photography of ocean. I will increase the size and I will send it to back. Okay, I will make it some of the bottom part is appear on the text like this. Okay, and then I will crop it. So the ocean is hidden behind the frame. All right, type here snorkeling on the photo. I will choose this one. And then I will remove the background. Okay, it cut a little, but it's okay, I think. Now let's flip horizontal. Okay, I will crop it first. I will increase the size. And I will place it here. Let's crop a little. Like this, okay. And then send the snorkeler behind the frame. Send backward, okay. Now I will crop it and select the frame and then choose edit and then choose shadow and click outline. Set the size to 3, enter and then change the color to white. Okay, now let's crop the frame so this white line is didn't appear like this. 
Click on the page background and change the color to the same color as the frame which is yellow. Okay, now we have it. And then download this page 2 as PNG. Okay, now add a new page. Click here to change the color. And change to gradient. And change this type to circular. I will change this yellow to this cyan. And the screen to this kind of blue. And then I will click this. And then I will add new color. Click this plus button. And click here in this in the middle. And I will drag it to a lighter color. Okay. I will change it to more brighter. Okay. I think it's enough. Now upload the PNG or page 2 here. Increase the size to fit the page. And then remove the background. I mean the yellow color. Okay, now go back to page 2. And go to position, layers, and select the snorkeler. And then right click and copy. Go to page 3 and right click, paste. And then uncrop this snorkeler here. And then crop it here. And then duplicate. Place the duplicate right on the origin. And then crop it here. And uncrop to here. Crop more. Okay. So now we have the 3D pop out effect. And then select these three elements. I will slide to the right to make it the position is balance now select the now I'll crop it first okay and then duplicate this as and flip vertical and place it here right on the bottom and then select on this duplicate go to apps and type here blend blender and Enter and choose Image Blender. Click this button. All right, and you can also adjust it. But I prefer this one. And then click Save and reduce the transparency. Feel like this, okay? And then go to Element and type here shadow on the graphic I will choose this a darker one here I will place it here and then I will add the light, lighter one like this one I will increase the size now go to position and place the shadow under the S and place the shadow of the S behind all the shadow. Now select the second shadow. I will reduce the transparency like this. So the main image is done. So I will make it as a travel poster. I will go to chat GPT. I will type here short short explanation about snorkeling. Okay, I will copy it and back to the Canva. I will paste it here. I will change the color to white. Change the alignment to left and I will crop it and reduce the size of the text. I will place it here and then I will type snorkeling. I will change the font to bottom rounded. The regular. I will place it here and then I will duplicate it. I will place it here and right alignment. I will change it to best 
spot in Indonesia. I'll reduce the line spacing. I'll reduce the text size. And I'll place it here. And then I will ask ChatGPT for another question. So this is the name. And I will copy it back to Canva and paste it here. Right alignment. I will change the font to the same font, made them rounded, and I will make it lighter. I will increase the size of the text and reduce the line spacing. Okay, so this is the tutorial. I hope it helps you. See you next video and have fun with Canva.